Hey guys, John from Lawrence. Uh, thanks for watching the Lawrence YouTube channel. Please remember to like, subscribe and leave a comment in the box if you want me to make any videos relating to Lorenz products. Today we're going to talk about this little thing in my hand and it's called a point one. Now, for the guys that are fishing competitively or not necessarily competitively but for the guys that are fishing bass, what you would notice if you have any of the HDSs or the FSs or the previous models is that once you come up to an area and your boat is stationary so you got onto anchor on your ghost or you put your power poles in the water that map turns so if you trying to to target a, a specific brush pile you won't know by looking at the at the chart where that is because the actual indicator on the screen will keep moving trying to update the position of where you are so what the point one does is it uses the magnetic compass that comes inside the point one to stabilize that chart. It's not so important for the guys fishing offshore because you're either on anchor and you're fishing directly down or you are drifting. So when you are drifting the update speed remains the same. It's only when the boat is stationary that you can't that the, the map will start to move. So the point one stabilizes that chart. It gives you the ability to target that brush pile or target that tree or target those tires a lot better um, with, than without it. One important thing that to note about this uh, point one antenna is that it has a compass. Not just a compass, it's a magnetic compass. What I've seen from guys that are doing the installation that where things go wrong is that the antenna gets installed close to anything magnetic which doesn't allow the unit then to, to calibrate uh, once you're trying to set it up. So it's very important that you take a magnometer, take an app, take a magnometer, place it where you want it to install the transducer, uh, the antenna, switch everything on on the boat that's in relation to where that thing is mounted and see if you've got a magnetic field. When you move your phone around with that app with the magnometer to try and determine where the best or the less possible interference on the boat is and then you can mount the, trans uh, the uh, point one on that spot. If your point one does not want to calibrate after you've done the installation, it's a very likely uh, fault that you have something magnetic within the vicinity of, of the point one. From an offshore application, uh, the autopilot comes with a point one AP, which is for the autopilot. And it's also very important where you mount that uh, antenna. You can either mount it on top of the T-top, because stainless is not magnetic, so it will be fine. But I have seen where guys have put it on the console and uh, they put their phones on top of it or they put you know electronic equipment next to it not knowing that it's a magnetic compass and then you'll see that your arrow instead of facing forward might be pulled to the side and your arrow might look like it's crabbing but that's because of something magnetic close to the, the actual antenna. 